Dr. Hammond, you just presented a study on healthcare use utilization and costs of SLE. What were the objectives of the study and could you tell us also a little bit about its conclusions? Yes, so uh, this study was fooled from the fact that uh, the most current healthcare utilization data we have in the US um, in systemic lupus erythematosus SLE is based on data prior to 2010. Uh, after 2011, there's been some changes in the healthcare system. Uh, there's been some new novel treatments, and we don't really know how these treatments have impacted the healthcare utilization system. Uh, so what we did then was to go back and look at all data that had been published between 2000 and 2016, looking at indirect and direct cost of healthcare utilization in the United States. Uh, we did this in what is called a systematic uh, review, and this will be at the apex of that evidence pyramid through which it serves as a lens to evaluate all types of study designs, cohort studies, prospective cohort studies, retrospective studies, and actually case studies, case control studies that would look at healthcare utilization costs in the United States. You mentioned in your presentation that um, more data is needed and also better treatments to keep patients in a lower stage of the disease. How do you see the development here in the, in the future and what are actions taken at the moment? Yes, so maybe just to summarize some of the uh, direct costs as well um, associated with SLE. Overall about 15,000 right up into 78,000 dollars, $80,000 is the average mean cost of taking care of somebody who has lupus in the United States. Um, if you have severe lupus, that ranges between 40,000 to 80,000. And for mild and moderate lupus, that ranges between 12,000 to uh, 20,000 uh, dollars. So the concept here would be that if we're able to keep patients in a low disease activity state, in, in, in mild lupus, uh, then it will cost us less. There's also some cost that's related to indirect cost, and this will be in terms of um, days lost at work. Unemployment affects about 50% of the patients. Um, every month, persons with lupus on average take out half a week, um, compared to uh, other persons in the United States that take out only two hours a day uh, from the work week. So all of this adds up significantly. Um, that loss to employers totals up to about $6,000 a year for every person with lupus. Uh, if you have lupus nephritis, which is um, a condition resulting from uh, the SLE that affects the kidneys, that cost rises to about $7,500. So it will save us quite a lot if we could keep persons in a lower or milder state of, of lupus disease activity. Uh, is there currently much funding going into research how this can be done and how ready are insurance companies and healthcare systems to help doctors keeping patients in the lowest stages of the disease? Yes, that's a good question. Yeah. So we did have if only a few studies, five studies that looked at more recent novel treatments. Uh, so uh, this data does not incorporate a good use of that data from uh, the novel treatments that have, have um, come out. Uh, certainly we need more data, uh, that would be very important. And I'm sure for every healthcare marketplace or every healthcare system, they would actually want to have um, better treatments, uh, which will keep people um, in, in lower disease states or, or keep the lupus activity down because it translates to less cost for the healthcare system and for the society and for employers at home. And what are your estimates uh, for Europe um, in terms of um, the uh, healthcare utilization and costs of uh, SLE? Um, we do have other activities that are going on to evaluate the healthcare costs in, in, in Europe as well because the markets are different. Um, at the same time, we also realize that because uh, persons with severe disease have more uh, burden and more disease burden and cost, we expect to see a trend like that, where those who are severe have higher costs, those who are mild to moderate have lower costs. So I expect to see a similar trend, or, although it may be slightly lower than in the United States. Okay, uh, Dr. Hammond, thank you very much. Thank you.